On December the 4th, 2017, 400 musicians gathered in Philadelphia, America to perform a symphony for a broken orchestra by David Lang. The orchestra included amateurs, professionals and members of the Philadelphia Orchestra. The youngest performer was a nine-year-old cellist, the oldest an 82-year-old oboist. It was probably the most diverse orchestra in America at that time. The 400 brought with them broken instruments, a trumpet held together with tape, a violin with no A string, a bow that had lost most of its strings, a cello carried in multiple pieces. And that the reason for all this was that the American government had cut funding for music programs in public schools and many school instruments had fallen into disrepair. As the musical piece opened, many of the instruments were silent, but gradually they found their voices. While a trumpet might not be capable of sound, the keys could tap a rhythm. Scraping over a, of a bow over the silhouette of a violin body could add an unusual element. At one point, a cellist made noise by turning a stringless peg. As the 40-minute symphony progressed, the instruments roared to life. Some musicians struggled, like a clarinetist who could, could get out only short spurts of sound and a French horn player who kept losing his mouthpiece. But together, the orchestra produced a rich harmony. The music was playful and joyful. As the performance wound down, each section bowed out one by one until all that remained was the humble squeal and squeak of a broken clarinet. It's an amazing picture, isn't it? Carl David Lang made something beautiful out of all those broken instruments. They, they worked together and they produced a sound which was no doubt pleasing to him, if not to anybody else. It's a bit, it's a bit like the church, really, isn't it? Paul said to the Corinthians, now you are the body of Christ and each one of you is a part of it. Now, many of us at times may feel like broken instruments and all that we can add to the life of the church is a squeak or a squeal or, or, or a thumping sound sometimes. But we're all part of the church. And although life may have hurt some of us and wounded some of us, Jesus has healed us through the cross and by the resurrection. He's made us whole again. And brought us into a body called the church, his body. And together in Twynham as a community of God's people, we, we are in a symf symphony for God. We make a sound for him. We make a joyful sound, I trust, for him in our community. And none of us is without a place in the body. None of us is without something valuable to contribute to the life of the body at Twynham and to the life of the body in community. Never feel that you have nothing to offer because in Christ you have much to offer. We're part of the body and you and I are an essential part of the body of Christ. Heavenly Father, in the strong name of Jesus, we pray that you will help us to play our part in the orchestra of God, that we might make a joyful sound and make Jesus attractive, intelligible and desirable to all around us. In Jesus' name. Amen.